summer stratification in order to understand summer stratification let us go through the points the relationship between the water as well as temperature now what is the relationship between this water and temperature means water has maximum density at 4 degree centigrade when the temperature is increased density decreases in the same way when the temperature decreases density also decreases so at which point the density is increased means only at 4 degree centigrade so this property of water as well as different temperatures in the seasons of temperate region are responsible for stratification of lakes stratification is formation of layers now what are the three layers which are being formed means the topmost layer is epilimnion middle region is thermocline or metalimnion lower region is hypolimnion now what are the characteristics of epilimnion is there is adequate sunlight so there is a high photosynthesis and high availability of oxygen on the topmost layer the water is warm as well as lighter in the middle region the temperature is 9 degree centigrade and here there is no mixing of water because the density of water is decreased now the bottommost layer is called as a hypolimnion and the temperature here is 4 degree centigrade the water here is cool as well as heavy there is a poor availability of oxygen due to no mixing of lake but adequate amount of night nutrients are being present and now coming to the clear explanation of thermal stratification in lake. We have discussed about the summer stratification and formation of three layers. And here there will be no survivability of organisms due to these layers. And now the summer is being followed by the next season that is atom. In the atom the temperature usually decreases. So the surface water have 4 degree centigrade and we have discussed that the density of water is a high at 4 degree centigrade. This forms uniform mixing of the lakes. The water sinks to the bottom and the bottom water comes up. So there is uniformity in the water with respect to nutrients as well as oxygen and this provides a favorable environment for the organisms to survive. And now this atom is again followed by winter and so there is even drop in the temperature. So now the surface water is usually 0 degree centigrade. So there is formation of ice onto the surface of water. So here the bottom layer only have 4 degree centigrade. But here also the, uh, there is no plenty of oxygen available. Due to this the organisms face a hypoxia. Hypoxia means less availability of oxygen and this causes death of the organism and the next season is it is spring and again there is pickup in the temperature that is increase temperature at the surface that is 4 degree centigrade. So here again there is sinking of water to the bottom so uniform mixing of uh, nutrients as well as oxygen. And this helps the happy survival of the organisms in this particular climatic condition. So now if you observe the thermal stratification, there is uniform mixing of lakes twice in a year. That is during spring as well as in the atom. So such type of lakes, that is two times mixing, we can call it as dimictic lakes. And now let us understand what happens to the organisms during the summer season. If you see the topmost layer is epilimnion. So at that place the aquatic habitat cannot survive. And the next region is metalimnion and hypolimnion. Due to no proper mixing of the lake there will be no survivability of organisms in these regions. So, in the end, due to less availability of oxygen, it kills the aquatic habitat. So, that conditions are not favorable for the survivability of organism. And now, let us go into the discussion of the another factor 
temperature also affects the enzymatic reactions in the organisms and that was clearly explained by the scientist Van Haff. Van Haff suggests that for every 10 degree centigrade raise of temperature the rate of reaction is doubled. So that is given by the formula temperature coefficient Q10 is equal to rate of reaction at x degree centigrade by rate of reaction at x minus 10 degree centigrade. So the value will be always 2. So that is the reason the, it is given as the rate of reaction is doubled for every 10 degree raise of temperature. Here x is plus 10 degree increase x minus 10 is the initial temperature.